And now we turn our attention to the battle against the coronavirus. New data from North Carolina today shows a record number of people are in the hospital being treated for the virus. Nearly 2000 people across the state are hospitalized. That tops yesterday's all time high of 1885. As those key metrics keep climbing tonight, we're hearing from a Charlotte man who says it took him months to recover from COVID-19. The 34 year old was in peak physical condition when he got sick. He's hoping others can learn from his experience. WCNC Charlotte's Michelle Bowden joins us now with his exclusive story. Aaron Dodge says back in August, he was at a friend's house for 30 minutes. Neither one wore a mask and he says he's been paying for it dearly ever since. So I was feeling real good before it all went down. 34 year old Aaron Dodge is known around Charlotte for his entertaining social media feed. Lots of dancing. Guys, lots I'm of fun not. and lots of working out. In fact, Dodge set a personal record when he ran a half marathon back in March. So I was actually in the best shape of my life before um, before I got COVID. He got sick in August. I woke up at 3 a.m. with cold chills and a, a headache and just felt like I got hit by a Mack truck. Dodge says he first tested negative with a rapid test, then on day 10, tested positive. I had feverish feelings. I felt like somebody took a baseball bat to my back because I had so many body aches. He got through the fever and body aches in a few days, but the fatigue just didn't go away. There was just a point where every single day was a question mark. There was times I woke up 7 a.m., had two or three cups of coffee and took a nap at 10 a.m. After two cups of coffee, this avid runner and all around active guy couldn't work out for months. He says the mental toll was almost as bad as the physical one. It's two o'clock. I got nothing left in me. I can't keep my head up anymore. I gotta go lay down. Dodge says just last week, he finally turned a corner and is starting to feel like himself again. Okay, okay. But he hopes his story helps others. His number one suggestion, wear a mask. I just want people to continue to be safe. Dodge says he wants people to understand that as difficult as the physical aspect of all of this has been, the mental aspect has been just as hard. Michelle Bowden, WCNC Charlotte.